Fort Deschartes lies in part of Illinois here that used to be part of the French main settlement in the region. As you can see here, most of the French settlement in the region came from this uh, St. Genevieve, Kaskaskia region. Uh, and the fort in particular was settled in a fun play. And there were three different forts. There you can see the uh, most recent one, uh, which is the one that's been reconstructed here. This is an aerial view to see kind of what the fort like would have been like in 1750s. So on your quick approach here, you can see the massive walls that uh, sit outside with uh, the slits in it for gun ports. So the first part that you kind of see here is this is the entrance. This is the entrance facing away from the river uh, and you can see quite on through. Uh, the French soldiers would have met with uh, the no local Fox tribe as you can see here as an reactment. Uh, outside there would have been uh, some earthen ditch work. Uh, wasn't totally complete, but it would prevent another barrier. They have these uh, bratisins um, outside that kind of make sure that uh, they're very Spanish and would help defend the fort as well. Uh, when you look through them, they're really narrow and kind of full of mud daubers right now, but it does give you a nice little line of sight. Uh, once you move into the fort, you can kind of see the big parade ground. This is where most of the drilling of the French soldiers would have been. Um, and eventually though, the British would come in with the uh, Highlanders taking over the fort for a very, very short time before they uh, shut the fort down, in fact. Uh, this is the uh, uh, storage area. It has big pits that go down into the foundations. Um, you can see the remnants of the foundations here and I guess they keep things cool underground. Uh, there was an area where they'd have pigeons uh, and this was also a supply area too for, uh, for water. It was one of the few wells that was built. Uh, here you see one of the bastions coming up. This is to get to that little Bratzen outside, a very narrow area to get through. Uh, very uncomfortable, especially if you get here. Uh, you can see one of the cannon ports here. This would close. Obviously, there wouldn't be trees in the way back then. But uh, the demonstration, this little diorama here, is a really good representation of what the cannons would have looked like uh, on uh, parapets. Uh, they have a reconstruction of one, and those guns would be forced in and not be pleasant to try to attack it. Uh, so after the bastion, there's four of them on each side. We see one of the, the barracks here. This is the West Barracks. There's not much left except for the foundation. It does have a, I'm thinking those are fireplaces or foundations of them. Uh, they would have had wood on top and uh, each building would have been about two stories. Uh, further next to that is, this is the remnants of the jail or prison. Uh, it's the original foundation. We don't really know what it looks like because it wasn't really intact. Uh, but then you get to see the uh, King's Storage House. This was the main, this was a trading site. So this is where this is a two-story house. Now it houses the museum. Um, but every every uh, year or so they have uh, French reenactors come in. You gotta get an idea here of, of what it would have been like and do French drills. Uh, and this fort is right next to the river. You can see where it was flooded uh, when the river uh, uh, overflowed. Uh, next up is the kind of uh, guard house. Here is an actual uh, area where soldiers would have gathered. Um, it's unclear what that big bed thing is. Uh, we have an officer's quarter here. It's actually surprisingly dim, but my camera was quite good. Thank you, Apple. Uh, to kind of get a video uh, of, of what officers would have experienced. Um, this is the gunner's room, so all the guns in the entire fort would have been uh, repaired or modified or, or uh, in this little shop here in the guard house. Um, this is the chaplain's room. Uh, it's right next to the actual chapel itself, but um, he does get his own room right next to the, the main area, which is rather robust as you can see here. Uh, it can fit about 60 to 70 people in a relatively small area. And this is two stories uh, that uh, of it. On top, this is a reconstruction. Each barracks house and this house would have had a lofted storage area. Uh, it feels really nice and it smells lovely of wood. Uh, you can see these are just provisions that they would have had to get them through uh, the winter. Uh, next up is the bakery that still uh, is around. Uh, this is, would be inside the fort itself, but the garden immediately surrounded it, and this is the remake of it, would not have been. This would have been outside the fort. Uh, we also get to see these parapets. They would have built all the way around the fort from excess dirt, and it would have given you a raised area. Uh, this is kind of a recreation of the uh, East Barracks. Uh, it doesn't have the, it just has the ghosting or the foundation on. Those are not prison walls. Those are uh, cells. Those are ventilation. Uh, the powder magazine is probably the coolest thing because it's incredibly well built. 
and because of that region, it's probably the oldest building in all of Illinois. This is what it looked like way back when they started to preserve the fort. This is about 200 years after the fort was built, uh, and it's extremely thick, obviously. Uh, this is what it would have looked like inside. Again, very dark. This is quite, I'm very impressed with Apple's new iPhone because it can make this very bright. Uh, for example, I could not read this and I was standing in front of it but with the camera I could. Um, so the powder magazine, extremely well built. Um, this is the government center. This is where the house, uh, this is where the, this would house the government um, and uh, company business here. Um, a lot of storage areas once again in here. Um, and then finally, we rounded up with the gatehouse. You're not allowed to go on top of it. Uh, but this is one of the first areas that they rebuilt after um, they got it. Here's what it looks like uh, without the walls that were built in the late 80s. And uh, you're not allowed to go up there. So the best thing I can do is kind of show you what it would have looked like. Uh, but the fort is neat. It's extremely historical. Uh, this is kind of the early French presence in, uh, in this region to kind of give an idea of, of what it was like. Um, all those years ago. Thanks for watching.